Hey, what's up, guys? Agent here, bringing you another episode of Call of Cthulhu, and I am very, very afraid. Apparently, we're being chased by something called the Sh- Or at the very least, we're going to be chased by something called the Shambler. And then that guy got killed by it as he was explaining it to us. Or at the very least, he got, like, foisted into the air. Huh. Well, this is true. They knew each other. Okay. You know, I really wish I had a fucking map. Please. There we go. Art dealer. Huh. Wow. He wanted the shambler, huh? Well, he got it, I suppose. God damn, Charles. Okay. This is where I go to escape from the asylum, I think. Fuck. So then where do I go? Perhaps up the stairs. Evidently. What is happening? For fuck's sake. Okay. Oh. My head. Later. We need to move on. 
Bradley? But... You're fucking dead. Colden, female friend of Bradley, who helped him to escape. Wandering through the corridors of this place where Dr. Fuller reigns supreme, Pierce was able to talk to a man called Francis Sanders before dying in full view of the detective he accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torments. Pierce finally left the accursed building. The accursed building, accompanied by Bradley and Colden. I mean, both, both accursed and accursed work. The companies in misfortune. The companions in misfortune decided to use the Hawkins mansion as a hideout. Fucking great idea! Go back to the place where you encountered all. The, like, where all this insanity started. Perfect idea. Real fucking smart. Cthulhu? <gasps> Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. No. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colden have to say about all this. Okay, then. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? No. Like I'm fucking crazy. That's how Bradley I feel. Dr. Colden have to say. Oh, okay. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance. Bradley? Who what? else would it be? Oh, Mr. shit. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... There are things I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? I saw people in hoods. They had stolen Mrs. Hawkins' paintings. Who are you talking about? Why would they do such a thing? I don't know, but they were a threat. They've taken over the caves under the mansion. They were performing some kind of ritual. That you took part in? The entryways was under Charles Hawkins' office. We suspect Mr. Hawkins of being involved. My patients believe the old islanders used to worship primitive sea gods. Could they be the focus of the cult? Am I hearing this right? So you think me gullible? No, not at all. What else did you uncover, Mr. Pierce? These two know each other pretty well. It's a tiny island. Everyone knows everyone, especially since I'm a police officer and Marie's a doctor. Well, yeah. The chemistry is obvious. I do seem a little bit stupid, don't I? <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And well, what brings you to sure. that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. Seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? 
I mean... Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. I mean, he's not dead. Memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor then. Uh, then what? I. Uh, the rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital and called on Marie's help to get you released. Hmm. You don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Given the energy he poured Finally. on the side, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families huh. are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. I mean, it's a small Two island. Families dominating everything. Yes. And as you can tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything? Oh, what you should fear, though, is... fucking everything in this game, because this is intimidating. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Uh. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kinds. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was For what, though? torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm Ethan Bradley. Flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? Okay. I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He's alive, though. I knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. 
I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sandra said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can uh -huh. still talk to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw. What conclusion? I mean, he's fucking dead. That seems wise indeed. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. The other night's events are still confused in my head. As am I. What happens if I... Well, hmm, perhaps. I'll cut this out. Oh. Okay then. I don't want to make Pierce a drunkard. Events are still confused in my head. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. Chapter 6 Sanders Residence. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. Why isn't anyone good at mouth animations? Please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Cat? Well, well, look who's here. You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. 
His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Mr. He owed debts to Cat. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. And she's coming to her to collect. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? <laughs> yes, I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. Well, not How permitted. Was were you present when he had this attack? What happened? He started raving, screaming that a dimensional shambler had found him. Oh, mercy, that story again. Why have him interned? That was when he began to convulse and twist with pain. Or terror, it's hard to tell. Uh, I beg your pardon? I'm not really sure of what I saw, or what I didn't see. But it's best that you weren't there. I should have been there. What you're telling me is outrageous. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? Oh, In a reputed oh shit. And, and right before your eyes, did you not do anything to help him? It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured, and I came across him in the hospital quite by chance. Injured? Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, Detective. Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. Mm -hmm. I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. Luck is obviously very kind to you. Indeed. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me. And then leave. I deduce that your husband already mentioned this dimensional shambler. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then Aside from your life! No heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it... Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. This is...